Hey there, Super Spaz here, and welcome back to Loweba 15 II, otherwise known as Long War Beta 15 Iron Man Impossible. I just realized I could say it really fast, like Super Califragilistic Expialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. <laughs> okay, I messed it up. All right, PFC Foster has replaced PFC Wadgerad. I forgot his name. It started with a W, and it was kind of exotic. Uh, but he is a uh, commenter who has decided to throw his name into the list. God help you. Uh, I hope you survive this mission, Joss Foster. I will try to make sure that happens. As well as, let me see here, if we got another, yeah, Robert Dayday. I can only assume that's how it's pronounced with the accents. Uh, that's, it was Robert and Dayday Gaming, so I just kind of took a liberty there and turned you into PFC Robert Dayday, or DD. I don't know how to pronounce it, but there you go. That's just a reminder that you can throw your name into this list if you have faith in me as a commander. Anyway, we've switched a few things around. I put the medkit on Harja instead of a smoke or a, a, a flashbang because medkit should be used in case of emergency, usually. And I think a gunner's usually going to be suppressing or shooting. So to put a smoke grenade on her would be a bit of a waste. Uh, so instead I switched it over to Mora. Now uh, she'll probably get more use out of it since her shots aren't going to be as accurate. And otherwise, I think we're good. Two shotguns for in case of drones. This is only a moderate abduction, so I'm thinking that since all we're probably going to face is sectoids and drones, it's safe to bring three rookies, three specialists, two shotguns. I mean, yeah, I think, well, I have an assault, but I don't want to put all eggs in one basket here. I want to try and have some backups. And I also have grenades, so in case that, that goes wrong, I can always throw grenades at them. So here we go. We are going to launch this mission uh, in an urban block, several buildings, and a large combat zone. I think we're pretty well equipped for that, except for a sniper, but when my one sniper's out, uh, the other ones are fatigued, and I would like to avoid fatigue as much as possible. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I've heard some crazy stuff about Beta 15 enemies, like floaters and Dropship has arrived. Thin men, one-shotting troops in cover. I also realize you'll be heading into Japan uh, Bradford, for the next Utah. mission. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Uh, this map. Apparently, this map is actually a pain in the ass with floaters. I would believe it too. It's the urban block, one. Uh, divider in between your troops and two buildings, but there's roofs, so roofs are nice. We'll try to get on a roof if the game does allow us to do so. I think that would be just fine. Central, this is Big Sky. Oh, Strike team is but down now. Standing by for your orders. we got Roger, Big this Sky. spawn, Reading you five which by five. Strike sucks. One has the green light for deployment. Major noodle. <laughs> I hate this spawn. There's nothing. If you go this way and you make contact here, you're done. If you go this way and make contact here, you can kind of sort of line yourself up here, but if you make contact both sides, like in the building and over here, you're done. Because you can't really defend that well. You can only, like, stand back here. I suppose you can just take cover in this and wait it out, but you're at the mercy of the aliens on this one. So until we can either get inside, which is what I'm probably going to do since there's no roof access nearby, uh, and we'll move through the building. And it's a real bummer because this building is much worse to breach into than, a, uh, than the other one across the street because it's two-parter. I think this is uh, what Beagle Rush refers to as the Mighty Cart map, but I don't know why. I guess it's like a video rental store or something, like an electronic store. Anyway, let's consider what we're going to do here first. Rony McGrath is our assault, so he could probably lead the charge here. Uh, let's go ahead and check over on this side. He's the guy with the most health. Yep, this is what I was afraid of. Contact right off the get-go, one on the roof. It's not looking pretty. Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to handle this, considering the roof guy is going to be a huge pain in the ass. And he can easily run in and get a flank. Oh my god. Come on, XCOM. I mean, I guess another thing we could do is maybe run sideways into this building with everybody. Uh, can Ronan make it? No, he can't. But he can sure as hell get far back enough. I mean, he's behind full cover, but he goes here, he's flanked. He could possibly get flanked by a sectoid, which I think ran back up here. He's probably in full cover up here, I had to guess. Bit, uh, you don't like the prospects of this one bit. 
or two bits, really. As I was saying, I usually play, I try playing an Iron Man Impossible campaign on my own without recording, just to, you know, to see what it was like. Uh, and I'm really bad at it. I'm really bad if I don't talk out my my thought processes. I just, I'm really reckless and it's not, not pretty. So this might be one of those times we actually use a smoke grenade, because, you know, let's face it. If we have, if there's any chance we're going to get flanked, That's affirmative. we should definitely uh, try to minimize our flankage here. So let's get Watson. Let's just get everybody like in here, out there. Start using smokes. Okay. Popping some dank smoke. And just pray to all that is good that we don't get completely wrecked. Hey. Yeah, Okay, buddy. That's you go up front, Watson. The Watson brothers. I, I came up with backstory now. It's exactly like Barney and James. I remember his name, Wayne Brady. Uh, in How I Met Your Mother, they had the same mom but different dads, and one is Canadian. It's actually perfect. It is actually exactly like Barney and James. Uh, I don't know if James is American. Well, I guess he would be American then, huh? All right. So, Watson, or one of you, pop your smoke. I guess. Since you're farther back and the Overwatch is more likely to proc on on the front, I will put smoke down. Actually, we should probably figure out where you go, because uh, you're kind of kind of screwed. One percent, yeah, that's what I figured. Because you can't really go anywhere unless we can get the smoke out up here, which is possible, but you know, because of smoke radius, it's gonna be kind of jank. And I can't hunker down with him, but it's a good thing he has health. Otherwise, otherwise it'd get real interesting real fast. Okay, so I think we're going to start moving back toward the inside. Try not to get screwed. What can you do with the smoke grenade? Can you get everybody? Maybe? Possibly? I'd hedge my bet on a clean Corvette that this would work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I think this will get everybody. Maybe. It'll definitely get him up front, which is more important, since everybody in the back is not going to be taking as many shots. They'll just go forever as the lowest defense, usually. Alright, do we have smoke on everybody? Yes, we do, alright. That means we are free. I think... Let's just overwatch, because we have good defense. These aliens are dumb as noodles. Well, they're not that dumb, but... They're aliens. They have plasma, we have bullets. It's a very... It's a sticky situation we're in right now. Oh, and I hear doors. That's a even worse situation. There he is. There's our man. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh! There goes Roof Man. And our frame rate dropped like a Skillex base baseline. All right. Let's get him. Get him. Get him. All right. Yeah. You know, can't win them all. We can win one, but we can't win them all. And that's all I ask of you. Overwatch. You crafty little bastard. But, unfortunately, you're not as crafty as you think, because I have suppression. So, <laughs> I mean, you tried, really. It was a very noble effort, but Suppressing fire on I think I know exactly what I'm going to do to you. Unless, of course, well, see, I don't want to go running gunning into a... Now, let's see where that door was, because that would be a very important thing to know. Uh, let me see if I can get a... Uh camera angle here? Probably not, because the map is very dim here. Nope, nothing. I'm not see I'm not picking up anything. Now, I know a door opened, so that's... and it was audible. That's bad news. Alright. What do you do in a situation like this? You don't usually want to run and gun behind the car, because then if aliens are over here, then you're really screwed. Mm, you could potentially run a gun here. That might be okay. Because if aliens are there, you'll at least still be behind some kind of cover. And then, if, if they're there, well then we gotta cover your ass, so. And I think people can run up to do that. What about you? Yeah, you can kind of You can run up to at least here or there. We can always scout for them a little bit, see if there's anything inside that way. Uh, maybe we should try that. Maybe we should just try that. I don't think that's a half bad idea. Also, our grenadier. How, how far is your grenade range? So if I got you, say, up to where Ronan McGrath is right now, you'd be able to blow that car in case things got hairy. Let's 
see about it. Actually, let's put you in full cover. Yep, you can definitely try and blow that car. Uh, and I think that'll 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 be good. That'll we can give it a good shot. All right, Dale Watson. Yeah, nobody else can really move up as far as you can into the building. So let's go ahead way. and take a look. See, drop it in like a badass, and we got nothing. Yeah, okay. So that car's looking better and better. If I shotgun him and then find a way to take him out, because he will, probably won't run the suppression. I won't be flanked by him. And our assault's a tank anyway, and he'll have suffered some damage from the mine merge if this hits and kills. I don't think it's a bad plan. And wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we absolutely... No, we can't. Barely can't finish this. Maybe we can finish it with an HE if it doesn't. I don't want to blow up the car, though. Um, who else? Who else can do some damage here? This is probably still in the smoke. Who has high aim? You, you have yeah, you're the high aim. So you go up front, and if thing go thing if things go south, you're gonna oh that's not a good shot. Now you know, it's we're trying. We are really trying here. I mean, even if I go there, I'm still flanked by that guy. I don't want that. Yeah, I think our best bet is to try and go here, shoot him across, and then. I don't know, just go, just go nuts on this guy. Try to get him to die. I can maybe throw a grenade at him. I think, I think this is our best bet. Run a gun, kill him, try to kill him. Because he's still suppressed, at least. Let's Moving see what we can do. And let's see if we don't activate Understood. any more enemies. Moving but out. hopefully... Yeah, we're, we're golden. 80%? Well, it's better than a 0%. And that is all I could ask of you, Ronnie McGrath. You glorious, it. glorious bastard. Alright. Namora, take your shot. Yeah, no, I didn't expect that to, to land. Damage. And you can have a... Well, no, you probably won't see him from there. You can see him from here, though. 20%. I don't think you're going to do much from the back. I'd, I'd love to flashbang him, but... Oh, he's done. He's toast! Nailed him. And the crowd goes wild. Hey oh aye, aye, Commander. Do the little victory dance. Let's reload rock. your gun and we're going through the building, folks. Full cover and and no outside activations for anybody. Because there's no windows on that side. Oh, but there's juicy juicy meld over there. I wish this map didn't suck so hard so we can get that juicy juicy meld. Alright, McGrath. Scout out for us. Yes, See what we on, got right. going on over on the other side of the store. <laughs> okay. All right, Ronan. Calm down. Oh, they're behind us. That? So we can probably set up like a door breach maybe on this side, on this side too, and like kind of come around and flank them or something. I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it in my head. We have double doors here. That's the beauty. Like if we go onto this alleyway and activate, we got double digits to handle these suckers. And I think that is just spectacular. Specialist tacular. Oh look, there's the there's the sectoid on the roof. Sectoid Jesus. Splayed out for all to see. Let's see if I can get in closer to him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe not. My camera my camera controls, as you'll as you'll probably see, are not too good. Not too bueno. Oh, he's still there. Hey Look at you. Up. Back it back it up a bit. Can we not? There we go. There he is. Wow. Look at you. Beautiful. I can't, I can't actually because it's by tile. There we go. Hey. It's either, it's like the world's largest sectoid or he's just floating. That, that's pretty, that's pretty good. All right. So anyway, we're going to start moving toward these doors, I think, and moving. start, start up some kind of door breaching. I'm on the move. Moving that would position. be ideal. And reload everybody, Solid of course. Copy. Wow, you guys handled that activation really well. Thank you, guys. Josh Foster. Josh Foster, if you're watching this, and you probably are because you know your troop's going to get named, you you just came through for us right We're here. Green to go. Day Day, you'll get your chance. All right. Go up with the rest get of the squad. Uh, maybe I should clear the rest of this building first now that I think about it because there's still a chance that they could be back there. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Over. Headed there now. 
Well, let's just get everybody who's not. I'm on it, uh... Commander. All right, we'll just look at the back real fast, see what we're dealing with in case. Because if we set up a door breach, and Lord knows what could Quiet. go wrong. Did you hear something? It's not looking likely, and I don't think they came through that door. So I think we're actually clear in this building. Possibly. You know, I'm rolling. I won't say it's a guarantee. Nothing's a guarantee. Oh, I've learned in XCOM. Especially like that 80% shotgun. Like if that hadn't hit, where would we be? We would be in big, big doo-doo. Moving to position. Uh, and my backup plan was pretty much grenades, but since our assault was on the car, <laughs> it wouldn't have been great That's if that had failed. But uh, we, our squad pulled through. Uh, I just shouldn't rely on them so much. I'm rolling. No offense. You guys are, you guys are beautiful and I love you, but... Let's be real here. You're not gonna hit the shots every time. All right, everybody else over watch in case the A's on. come through our flanks or anything. They shouldn't, unless they're actually scouting into the building, which would be perfect. I'd love that if they did. So as you see, I'm not too concerned about meld these early missions. Uh, it's Roger kind of a luxury if you can get meld. Okay, at this rate, unless they're in this back corner right here, I think we're pretty safe. Uh, I can send up. Somebody else to check. A rookie, perhaps? Moving. A rookie? No. No aliens? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we're pretty clean, guys. Alright. Let's start getting these breaches set up. You go there. That's and not even... Not that you can steady weapon at all. You Heading go here. You go Ten here. Four. Usually you want to put your assaults, like, in front of the door. And unfortunately, I, I... our other troops back there, so... Double door breaches are always fun, and it sounds like they're out that way. Shut up, listen. Listen, what you doing? I mean, if they come through that door, that'd be beautiful. I could just set up in full cover and rain fire down upon their alien buttholes. Oh, you can't even get there. Uh, try going over here. Can you get there now? No, you can't even set up a breach this turn. Location confirmed. Vera, what the fudge? I can't even steady with you, and I need to, because you're a rookie. Right. We're not here for meld, we're here for training. We're here to get three rookies, some promotion. Josh Foster already earned his. What about the rest of you? Yeah, I heard that melt die. Moving to position. Uh, I think, uh, did Varen make that? No, that was, uh, that was our gunner that made that overwatch shot. I think the first one just happened to hit. Do do do. Two. How about overwatch? Moving to overwatch. Reload Ready that gun. Roll. Uh, Overwatch, and steady weapon. We're going through these doors, blazing hell with the shells. You hear that? I do. It's just sectoids. Nothing too dangerous. Alright, open first. Hello! Got oh, we got, we got two here. pods. Oh my gosh, two pods. Four bracelets. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in from the sides. It's a massacre. It's ridiculous. It's so... It's... Man, what are we gonna do? Alright, well, I know there are drones out here. But I do also think... I don't know. Shit, Ronan, what can you do? If you go there, you're flanked. If you go here, you're not. But you could potentially be flanked by something else. Something more sinister. I could put you here, but that would also flank you to the drones. And there are two of them. This might be a situation where their grenades are necessary because we got one A here, one A, I think over here somewhere. He's right. Is this the A? Is him? Yeah. So one here, one here, one here. Yeah. This guy definitely, this one definitely needs to die. He's flanking. Well, he's not flanking any much. He's actually not flanking you. Can our engineer deal with this? Our engineer can be a grenade man. He can just grenade this wall, try to take it out, try to... Well, he doesn't have sapper either, because he's a... He's a, just a specialist. And we kind of need to keep some grenades for these guys in case it goes south for our assault. Uh, assault! See what you can see, you can always run and gun your ass out of there in case things go wrong, I, there aren't any overwatches. Oh, it's go time. Yep, we're leaving. <laughs> we're not sticking around for this. Actually, I think this is what we should use our grenades on, uh, if anything. 
They've got me flanked. Okay, this is interesting. This is a very interesting fight we've gotten ourselves into. Many, many drones. If we stay inside the building, the worst they can do is come through the doors, but then again, so can they. Oh my god. He's ridiculous, I tell ya. I tell ya, Mickey. They got no respect. And our gunner's gonna have to do some damage too. Can you see? Who can you see? You got 100% on him. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should take that. Maybe I should try to focus on these drones. This guy is gonna be a bitch. Because he's flying and nobody can see him. Nobody, nobody who needs to anyway. Oh, what a pickle. Oh, what a pickle we're in. Now, the most important part of XCOM is don't panic. If things go wrong, they're gonna go wrong. You gotta find a way to deal with that. Now, we can kill this guy with a grenade probably from the engineer. Like, straight up, he's dead. Uh, if I get behind here. It's everybody else I'm worried about. That's the problem. We can pull back inside the store, throw down a dank smoke, and pray for the best. But I really do need to deal with these drones. Uh, keep, keep tabs on them. You don't even have CCS either, so that drone easily could come inside and flank you. Any roof access? I mean, there's a ladder, but I don't know if that's going to help us at this point. Unless somebody can make it up there and make a clutch save. Nope, not today. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Dur, dur, dur. Now what? This is not safe. None of this out here is safe. Don't go out here, because this is here. That big drone pod is going to be really bad. That is not what you want to see. Maybe I should just kill these two drones with grenades. Maybe. Might be good. Is everybody else kind of out of sight of this sector? We can send somebody else to take care of him. You should be able to see him too. 43 is not bad, actually, since you're steady. Uh, I'd, I'd put my faith in you, maybe. We only have one more flashbang, too. Tell you what, Engineer. You go here. We'll go. Let's open with this. Let's kill these drones with a grenade, or at least try. Because <laughs> that would be... Oh, we can only kill one with a grenade, too. Because we don't have, like, an elevation thing. I mean... We can try to be jank with the wall, but that's going to hit one of my soldiers, too. Unless I move him. Unless I move him, then this could be really, really good. And we can use this to deal with the other A's that are plaguing our, our uh, location here. I can throw you back here. You could also potentially throw a grenade if things go wrong. I like that idea. Of course, we have to watch out for this guy. We really do have to handle him. Uh, do we have any other grenades? No, you two are the only ones with grenades. Okay, well, let's try to take a shot with Vera because she's fairly safe. Uh, if the drones come through the wall, they come through the wall. What are you going to do? Let's try and take out this guy with a 43%. Okay, no, that wasn't going to happen. Negative now, what we need to do... How far is your grenade throwing arm? Hmm. To the point where if you moved here, maybe, could you uh, hit that guy? I think I, I think I could see it. If you don't kill him with the grenade, then we got to really think about what we're going to do. I think you can now. make that. I think you can make this happen for me. And we also have to look up for the other door, too, again. It's... Because that guy can just run through it and flank. Alright. Foster, throw a grenade. grenade. I'm going to try to deal with this as best we can. Alright. Perfect. Yeah, that guy might run through that door. Uh, we don't want that. Alright. Be jank. May the jank be with you. This apparently is going to work. Uh, it's not going to hit my guys. It's going to hit theirs. So let's see if that happens. I mean, I'm down. Suck on this. I don't have any... That worked almost too well. <laughs> that worked way too well uh, for that to be even close to legit. All right, now you move here, take out this drone. Run and gun. Yes. Wait, where else can you run and gun? Nowhere safe at all. Not even a bit. Like, that's bad. This is bad. Anything, like... Anything here is bad. Just don't do it. And then we can move our gunner and, like... Watch that door. So I like it. We can also watch the door with other rookies. Oh okay, yes. So we're taking out one sectoid, one drone, and soon to be two. Aye, aye, commander. Aye, aye, commander. Take him out. 
Rawhide. And that's another drone biting the dust. Now, maybe we should smoke here in case things go wrong. Because they might go wrong. And you can only get here, so if they see you through the door, you're flanked. Uh, but you can always sit here, do some overwatching. I mean, what else can you do? Who other? What other shots can you take? Nothing good. Uh, I doubt these drones are going to have enough movement to flank inside the door next turn. So, our option is to hit here, smoke, overwatch with the gunner, and see what we can do about that situation. Um, yeah, this, I mean, this sectoid, unless he's stupid, probably wouldn't run inside. Actually, if I had to bet, this guy's going to mine merge. Yeah, he probably will. Alright, maybe uh, we can draw fire from this rookie, from uh, Watson, or, yeah, we can try. <laughs> Because uh, Josh Foster is in a bit of danger here if that guy flanks. So we got to Overwatch, you, throw a dank smoke. This should work properly, properly now when I'm flanked. On it, Commander. We can get everybody in this, huh? Do it. Mountain, do it. And then everybody else is just going to kind of have to stay back. I mean, it, it counts. The smoke's just not there. Brave little sectoid. The brave little toast. Oh my god, he's really brave. No, 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 no. Don't steal the overwatch. You dumb bunny. Oh boy. Well, at least we're in smoke. Ah! What are you doing, man? Okay, the other one. Well, it looks like since their turn is over, he decided not to flank. Which is great, because that would have been really bad. But we did what we had to do. We made the sacrifices we had to make. Oh, you can see him through that wall. Yes, that. Yes, you can. That would make sense. He's sort of visible. He's in full cover. And he's also got more heart health than everybody else. Oh my gosh, you guys suck. Oh no, he did go. Oh, but he's dumb. Oh my god, he's really dumb. Can you can you do this for me? Actually, I really need somebody else to do that for me. I can uh, tank and I can spank him with the assault. Actually, engineer, 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 engineer. Can you clutch this? Get a grenade on those drones through that door. I'd Will love do. to see that. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. If you can do this, oh. Oh, you beautiful man. I saw it. 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 Watson? Oh, you can make that happen. You can make that happen. Okay, okay, okay. What rookie needs a kill? Because we really need to uh, make that be a thing. Veramora doesn't need a kill. Yeah. Okay, get her. Get him. Get that sectoid. Get that juicy flank. Hit him. Hit him hard. Hit him fast. There you go. That's your kill. Who else needs a kill? Josh Foster got his kill. Jack Watson got... Well, he doesn't really need one exact mundo yet. What else did I put? Oh, you. You do need a kill. Is there any chance you can get up here and shoot one of the drones out of the sky? I mean, I doubt it. I, I mean, you're a rookie. Well, maybe. See what you can do. I love the effort, but... No. That's a load of bull. It is, but hey, what are you going to do? That's XCOM, Bibsy. All right, I see, I see the light. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful light. Can we get anything better? I saw something really good earlier. I was like, maybe that is the best we can do. No, I know you can do better than this. Is that the one? Is that the one I saw? That's the one I saw. Do it! Catch. That didn't even hit the other one. Okay, that's upsetting. Well, Gunner, that's what you're for. Josh Foster, too. Yeah, gun him down. I mean, you can see one from there. Who can you see? You can see him. And we can take the other one with the shotgun. What kind of shot do you have already? 86? That's pretty good. Nah, screw it. I'd take it. I'd not risk going outside. And then with the Gunner, you just take the last shot. 70 is pretty good. Oh, and you're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. We got this in the bag. Now, Josh Foster has a kill. I'm rolling. We can't flashbang a drone. But if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Now, Josh Foster, just weak. soften this up. Or miss. It's cool. He's not going to make it inside. Missed. Best he can do is take a shot. And at our assault, no less. It's not a smart guy. Who can we soften this thing up with? Maybe hit it with a grenade that won't kill it. But then we'll lose out on any potential, like, alloys or anything we had. Dale, what can you do for me? You really do need to get this kill. 
La 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 la. Josh Foster, you can try and soften it up again. I'd be I'd be cool with that if you could do that. I should move up closer. Get some range okay. on that. It's not even flying, this dumb thing. Poor little drone. It's not smart. Hmm. No way that just happened. Yeah, I'm having trouble believing it myself. Okay. Veramora, you want to try and soften it up for Dale? Nope, you're going to kill him. You're too good. These things usually have higher defense than that. All right, fine. We didn't take any wounds, so I mean, we'll probably get a bonus of some kind. Maybe. I don't know. That went too well. I think I give myself too little credit sometimes. That was... I mean, that was lucky, though, what they did. I mean, it could have been pretty bad. That sectoid could have flanked, but the other one ran the overwatch, so the other one took a spot. Ah, no, I love the, the Ghostbusters. Like, Dang it! He didn't get his kill. Hopefully, they'll be able to recover more didn't more meld just in kill the anybody, because you didn't soften it up right for him, Vera. Now we gotta take him on another mission. Dang it! Well, it doesn't matter what you're assigned. Uh, that's a that's really a shame that Dale Watson did not get that kill. I maybe should have taken the shot with him first or hit it with a grenade, but I didn't think... Usually assault rifles don't kill drones in one shot. Uh, that, that was a very lucky roll. But what can you do? You can just kind of take it on the chin. It could have gone much worse, but everybody made it out alive. I think we will be in touch, that's something Commander. to be proud of. 320 credits and not a thing to spend it on at this point. Because really we don't have... Well, I suppose I could start building a satellite and then cancel it when the time comes. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. Yeah, because like when I have we to build an no, I'll still have enough to build as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. And I do have to save up for a satellite uplink too, but by that time... It's 21 days until the satellite's built, so geez, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in any sort of rush for that. Uh, there's nothing I can buy. I can maybe hire some soldiers, like one or two. Just get some rookies early. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hire a couple. I mean, we have nothing else to spend money on, uh, and we have $180 just kind of sitting and waiting for us. Okay, air game's looking all right. Maybe we should buy another fighter hit mid month or something. Uh, I already said I was gonna go alien materials first. Yeah, there's really not much we can do. Oh, right, I can't view the memorial. No one died. Look at that. Ah, oh, Dale! God dang it, how close were you? Not even, not even that close. I needed to get a kill on you. And I should have tried. Uh, but... That's XCOM. That is gonna happen. You're not gonna get everything you want. Alright, I'll decide our promotions when we run into a mission. So let's see what mission we run into. zibidi boop bop bap Ooh, new request from France. What could it be? I wonder if I can even fulfill it. Ooh, Mexico. Oh, satellite. Oh, of course there's satellite transfers. Sorry, guys. That's not happening this month. I uh, hate to disappoint you. Are we just going to get our fission generator up and we can build our... Oh, wait. I just realized uh, I have to stop making that satellite because I need $100 for the lift, I think. Oh, yeah. Look at... Listen to that kitty purr. Power generation She is uh, giving power to all the... Oops. All right. To all the boys in the yard. Yeah, we are gonna have to do that. Well, we do need the lift. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, Shen. I know. 22 days? Hold your horses. We have a work. Shouldn't this be faster? Maybe not. Maybe we just need more engineers. Uh, cancel that project. Can I do that? Commander, yeah. Our delete current that, delete that order, Shen. Facilities are at full capacity. I'm sorry, I disappointed you like that. We should build like additional that. uplinks as soon as possible to allow yep. for new Get that lift deployments. going. 31 out of 38 power. Uh, we're going to try to get another fission generator here before we hit up. Yeah, and then we'll start just, uh, we'll build another satellite uplink, and then we'll start building lifts down and try and get steam vents. Uh, in the meantime, I think we'll have eight extra power to build other stuff, so we can maybe build a mech bay here, or a repair bay here, a foundry too. Start our workshop block down here, because I think what I'm going to do is axe the workshop, if anything. Or maybe I should build them up here and then axe the laboratory when the time comes, because it'd be better to get a workshop, uh, square going really early. Like, that would be fast. If I got both the repair bay, if I got a repair bay here and a foundry there, that'd be nuts. But I also need an office, office training school alien containment. Lots of things to think about, but things I don't have to think about just yet. Uh, what do we, we I'm not gonna sell anything, because you really do need Illyrium Alloys, weapon fragments. You need weapon fragments early. We're, only, we're already at 23, too. That's pretty good. Kind of lacking on the mill, but that's that's been my fault. It's a real bummer. Yeah, Dale Watson did not get a promotion. I'm a bit, bit salty, but hey, that was a good mission. Ooh, we're getting we're getting people back. We are getting lots of people back. Oh yeah, we're gonna have enough specialists to fuel our 
Yeah, and we, we actually really have to level up our other specialists too that did not really get promotions that mission. That's what happens with a moderate. We really need a large land and don't actually Commander, give me a large land. We're tracking several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Oh, and PFC Del Watson came back, so I know who we're taking. Well, let's get him in there. Let's just go ahead and start this off now. We're also going to take Day-Day, because, -Day, uh, I mean, why not? And we have a lot. We should probably start getting these specialists up, so it might be a good idea to take not three rookies, even though it went really well last time. Depending on the map, it might not go so good this time. But Roadway! Ooh, I definitely want a sniper. Who has the high aim? Who am I going to make it? You. You there, Veramora. You are going to be our next sniper. Uh, let's do that now. Let's see what happens. Abilities. Ah, uh, you were already assigned that. Good. Squad sight? Uh, you got 72 aim. Uh, not great, but hey, I... It gets it better than not getting any. You have better uh, mobility than our other sniper. Pretty good will. Alright, good. So, I will go ahead and skip ahead and pick other people. Get some experience spread around, and I will see you on the other side. Alright, so this is the squad I think I'm going to take. I made Maseko a Rocketeer, as I said I would probably do. 14 mobility with armor on, and no loss there. 70 aim, uh, and 2 rockets. She's going to be crazy. Watson coming back to try and get his promotion that he did not get last time. Day-Day coming in as our other rookie that we named. Mora, I should have made... Uh, let me see if I... I'm going to look at the barracks real quick. Let me show you something. I sh what I should have done is I should have made Karen Hartman a sniper because she had 71 aim. But I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's make a really high aim infantry. Uh, so now this infantry is 75 aim on the first promotion. So I think Karen Hartman... And she was the one last time who ran up uh, against those secto sectoids in half cover and took two shots and didn't get hit. Uh, she's insane. Does she even have good defense? No, she's minus four. She should have She should have been hit. She was really easy to hit. Uh, she got really lucky. And now she's using that luck to uh, make a lot of shots. And I think maybe she should. Uh, and otherwise, we have our scout specialist Vesla, Vesela. Uh, she's kind of taking a sort of assault role this time because of her 16, well now 15 mobility with armor and uh, vests. But I, I kind of wanted somebody to run lightning reflexes on this map since we're not going to have elevation or anything. Uh, and we don't have a gunner either today. So that is definitely going to be a necessity, and she has plenty of health to tank those shots, probably at least from sectoids and drones. I doubt we're going to see any floaters and thin men today, but hey, you never know. Uh, medic, uh, back Kakuhiwa already has a med kit on her, so I just tossed a flashbang and a smoke on her to support. She has poor aim, so that's going to be interesting. Data's kind of the same way, he's got bad aim, so I actually gave him a rifle because he'll be doing maybe more than throwing grenades. He's sort of our stand-in engineer, which might be what he becomes. Uh, and Watson taking up the second med kit and another smoke. So they're both kind of med. We kind of have two supports on our team right now. Uh, but a lot of damage from the rocket and a lot of damage. Or rockets, plural. And a lot of damage from these grenades, hopefully. Uh, and our sniper sitting in the back of this roadway. It's going to be pretty alright, I think. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And I suppose, uh, uh, I guess I'll see you next time. And I have time to think about whether I want to change this around a bit. But I think it looks pretty good to me. Later. Later, 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 later. I don't know what I'm doing.